Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. From our Magic Studios in Orlando, Florida, this is Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. And a very happy new year to all of you. This is Magic Overtime with Dante and Galante. We're here in the studio. We are joined by Richie Adubato, currently the radio analyst here for the Orlando Magic Games with Dennis Newman on 580 WDBO, former head coach. And, Richie, we had you on the Internet show. Uh, what does it feel like to be here in the studio? You like the setup? Oh, this is a beautiful setting, <laughs> I mean, compared to what we used to have. I mean, you guys have graduated. It was really important to get you a chair this time. Right. A chair and a little table. And a desk. So I don't have to keep looking down like I can't remember my name. <laughs> and, and write notes all the time. That's right. Yeah, well, Richie, no, a very is... happy, yeah, very happy New Year to you. Same and, to you. And we want to say Happy New Year that to was... Mad Dog. Take a look at Mad Dog back in the control room. How was your New Year's there, Mad Dog? It was fantastic. Ha! Had a great New Year's Eve. Got a little dancing in. Uh, the champagne was flowing, and I got that special kiss from Mrs. Mad Dog. Bet you did. Ha! Now, what better way to kick off the New Year than having Richie Adubato in studio? Can't wait to hear some of Richie's great stories yet again. Oh, we can't either. I, Justin just got off of work. He yeah, works yeah, I'm looking at the outfit. Yeah. Who did he dance with in that outfit? <laughs> his, mother, his, his wife's going to put a substitute <laughs> in there. Only she Mrs. Looks at Mad him Dog. Only she Mrs. just Mad. might. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> All right, well, Mad Dog, we want you to help us out. Richie, you currently do the games on radio, right, with Dennis Newman. Right. And we pulled some of the calls that we think are our favorite. Take you know a look. You what you do when you see a bear? You're supposed there. to raise your hands up because we got a lot of black bears in Heathrow Woods where I live. You know, put your hands up so you look bigger. If you run downhill, they can't get you, you understand? Because they, their front paws are smaller. So if you run downhill, they'll roll. If you can find a hill and if you want to wait around to see where one is, that's up to you. Now, they always tell me with an alligator you want to zigzag. You right, don't want exactly. to do that with a bear. No, no, you got to You're find it. You want to run downhill, alligator, you zigzag, and you got it made. I'm, I can't even explain where they're going to bite me. <laughs> Howard free throws sure, are good. So Dwight six so, so is well, like this. Well, kind of like this? When you go up like that, you sk- they think you're big and ferocious. Gotcha. You, you know? got to make yourself as and tall as possible. then you got to find a hill. If you don't find a hill, it's all over. Okay. <laughs> Which is what they want. Because you don't want to find the tree. All right? Because they'll go right. They'll nail you right away. And you don't want to run straight. They can run 35 miles an hour. People don't know that. Oh, they, yeah, that's a lot. So, you know, so you got to find a hill. And hope that they stumble and roll all the way down. I like that your arms are still and up. You keep, you I like that up. they're still up. And that's in Florida, good. and in so Florida, like that's pretty tough to do. Yeah. In Florida, that's pretty tough to that's do. It's tough to do hill. anyway. You put uh, your team through drills, make them do uh, <laughs> uh, sprints backwards and forwards, slides. They can't do it with their hands up very long. You got to make yourself complain. tall. But let me tell you, if you got a six foot <laughs> black tough. bear chasing you, you're not worried about where your arms are. No, not that's at all. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to end that. I hate to ask you to bring your arms down, but Justin, you got a mad dog. You got another. Do I have to stay this way no, the whole time? you do not have to. Because I was going to get to the alligators. <laughs> the reason why you zigzag with alligators, they got short, tiny little legs, and they right. can't they can't zig when you zag. So you can get away. You can get away. I right. wish we could have you a diagram. Uh, all I can tell <laughs> you is tele- both of them are going to bite me in the butt. <laughs> yeah. We need a telestrator. We need a telestrator Man, on that right. one. Yeah. Mad Dog, you got another clip for us to hear? Didn't James Augustine play with uh, Williams at Illinois? I think he did, didn't he, or am I wrong? I thought he did. I, don't, I didn't know Augustine until he walked into this gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers so, that. <laughs> you know, that was James Augustine that actually played for the Magic, right? Well, you can't keep with everybody. You can't right. keep up with everybody. No, I didn't go to the summer lot, league, yeah. you know, and, and I, so I didn't watch the summer at all. And that's why I have Dennis. Dennis. Right. He's terrific. Which is, that's, why, that's why I have Dante. Yeah. Pronunciations exactly. and to know who all the to guys are. To know all the players are, especially uh, pronunciations, yeah. especially when we went to China, because the only guy I knew in China was Wang Feng Yu. <laughs> right. He was my favorite because I thought he had a great jump shot. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and that he did. Well, Richie, we want to uh, – you've been doing – you've been in basketball forever. You've been in basketball since right around the turn of the century, I think it was, right? Yeah, right around. But, but we've, got some, we've got some clips, Richie, of the first ever game that you coached. Here's your first game, Here's Richie, the first right game Richie ever coached. Can we roll the highlights? Do you remember these days, Richie? Do you remember? Yeah, because I, <laughs> I had hair then. <laughs> You remember, what was this play here? This is what you call a left-handed hook. Beautiful <laughs> hook. Look, at everybody shot hooks in those days. Everybody shot hooks because they couldn't jump. <laughs> so, therefore, if they shot hooks, you couldn't block their shot. Oh, I'm surprised right. there's a net See? still on the hoop. I thought that was the peach basket era. And those, those cool cameras at the well, end, too. Well, we just celebrated the birthday the other night. B- birthday 117 of 117 years. That's right. right. 117. Well, I have my stats together because I work with Scott Inez and Dennis Newman. If I don't, oh, you, 
they beat me. You got to be you got to be on your toes <laughs> yeah, with that. that, that well, Richie, group. Richie, you've seen a lot. You've seen a lot come over the years, and we want to get into that in a second. But before we do that, we want everyone to know who is Richie Adubato. So we caught up with some of your peers. Take a look at the monitor. Here's what your peers had oh, to say. Can I go for lunch? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh my goodness. Roll the video about <laughs> Richie Adubato. Richie Adubato. I, you know, I don't think you can describe Richie Adubato. I, I really think words come up short with Richie. I, you know, Richie is, Richie is an experience. Richie Adubato is a cross between the absent-minded professor and Mr. Magoo. <laughs> and uh, I've never known anybody Jeez. like him. He is truly a unique character, uh, one of the greatest guys that I've ever been around. Uh, I think he is the funniest person that I've ever been around. And, uh, you know, the, the stories are endless when it comes to Richie. Love Richie Adubato. He is... He's a character. Uh, he, 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 I don't know, I think he's missing a screw in his head, <laughs> you know. Tornillo en la cabeza, falso. Uh, but he's a great person. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever met who's not a, a professional comedian. Uh, for the last couple of years, he just uh, uh, entertains us, in particular when we were on our, our former plane where we would sit in the back. And a lot of times, Richie would tell the same stories. Uh, but they were uh, funnier every time that he did. So, Richie, is that a pretty accurate assessment? I mean, they, the guys have a blast. You love to have a good time, don't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, when you when you stop laughing, you might as well just go and, and, and get out of this life, okay? so And you got to keep a sense of humor. Yeah. You have to keep a sense of humor in everything you do in life, especially in coaching. Right. You, you know, uh, I always tell coaches one thing. Um, when, if you want to be a coach, and you know the pressure that's involved in coaching. We just saw six guys go down before yeah. Christmas in the NBA. Um, you have to enjoy the wins because you suffer and die with the losses. You stay up to 4 or 5 in the morning. You're looking at the tape. You're trying to figure out what I did wrong, what we should have done, who should have played, what we can do next time to win. And you're dying that whole night. So when you get a win, you got to celebrate. you got to enjoy the win. The next day you'll be prepared because you're going to wake up at 7 or 8 and you're going to prepare. You're not going to go into a game without being prepared. I came into this league under UB Brown. UB Brown is, some people say, more organized than crime. I was the most disorganized guy ever when he brought me in as an assistant. And he almost fired me twice, but I really learned how to be on time and I learned the X's and O's and learned how to be disciplined. But you got to enjoy the wins. You know, because if you think about this, when you coach in college, you're usually 25 and two or high school. You've yeah. got great records. There's only a couple of times that you lose. But if you do a great job in the NBA, a great job, and you win 50 games, you still lost 32. Right. So yeah. you still had 32 rough nights that you're, you know, <laughs> not feeling too happy. You need three of leaves and whatever else you take while you're trying to watch the tape. So, you know. You gotta enjoy the wins, and too many guys don't do that. Well, you can see them. As soon as the, the game's over, they're yeah. thinking about the next game. <laughs> they're already. We got the buzzer from Justin. Apparently, I Mad Dog. It. Apparently, we went long, right? We went long in that segment. So now we want to have. I'm giving you a Dick Vitale yeah. answer. Magic overtime with Dante and Galante is brought to you by Tobacco Free Florida. <laughs> 